Ah, you're here again. Come, come out of the rain and step to the fire. And I'll tell you a story. Jimmy and Samantha were walking through a carnival. There are all sorts of games and prizes to be won. Samantha had heard of a particular game from her friend and she wanted Jimmy to play and she told him how fun it was. She walked him over to the booth but there was already a couple playing. The couple laughed and giggled and played the game but then a loud buzzer sounded and the game master said, That's all the time we have. Sorry. The girl in the couple's laughter turned into a shrill cry and told him, I wanted the big blue bear, but you lost. As she cried more, and she walked away. The guy pleaded for her to stop, but she was too far gone to hear him, and he turned around. When he turned around, something must have shaken him to the core because his eyes grew wide and his mouth was agape. But she walked away from the booth nonetheless. Jimmy saw that after the game, the couple was not as happy as they were while playing, but Samantha urged him to do it. She walked him up to the booth and said, I want that big blue teddy bear there. As soon as the game master heard those words, he rushed to the counter from sitting down reading the newspaper and said, Well, if you want the bear, so I will have to play the game. Jimmy hesitated and asked, Well, is it fun? The game master quickly tried to control the conversation. The real question is, who all are playing it? The answer is everyone. Well, not everyone, of course, but damn near. And your girl looks like she really wants that prize up there. Here, I'll just give it to her in advance, because I have a feeling that you can win. The Game Master took down the big blue bear and gave it to Samantha. Samantha squeezed the bear and twirled around, and the Game Master gave Jimmy a ball to play with. The guy from the couple that was at the booth before Samantha and Jimmy stopped walking forward. He walked back and up to Jimmy and told him something, but he had to whisper, Hey, I wouldn't do that. The game is rigged. The game master was appalled and said, Hey, I don't appreciate you saying ill things about my game. Jimmy told the game master, Quiet down. I want to hear what he has to say. Jimmy and the guy scooted over to the side and chatted while Samantha was still enticed by the big blue bear. While the guy chatted with Jimmy, Jimmy shouted out, That can't be! This is not what I've heard about the game at all! The guy started to whisper again, Well, I aren't gonna just tell you the truth from the jump. I only found out after I started to play. Have you ever looked behind you? Jimmy squinted his eyes and turned around and saw Samantha twirling around with the bear in her arms. He asked the guy, What the hell are you talking about? I don't see a thing. The guy touched Jimmy on the shoulder and said, You don't see what I see, but now you will. Jimmy began to be lightheaded and his knees almost gave. He blinked and a crowd of people were behind Samantha shouting, A real man would have gotten this girl a big blue bear. It's your fault. You are to blame. Get to the back of the line so you can try again. The guy whispered to Jimmy, That feeling you feel, that knot in your stomach, that's what happens when you lose. The guy let go of Jimmy's shoulder once he felt he saw enough. The vision stopped, but Jimmy was outraged and stumped to the boot. He knocked on the counter until the game master slid it over. Jimmy yelled, Listen, you! He couldn't find any other word than snake to describe the game master, which looked more and more like a snake as time passed. Listen, you snake! Tell me what this game is about! The game master looked into Jimmy's eyes and spoke, As you wish. The Game Master started to talk. I guess I should tell you that not all couples who play this game win. Jimmy asked, well what are the chances of me losing too? 
The Game Master rubbed his chin and stared into space when he said, About half. Jimmy felt that knot in his stomach again for only a while, but kept asking questions like, well, What did he lose? What do I feel? The Game Master told him, I don't know what you're feeling, but all he loses is money. Now some men will play until they go broke, but only because they want to please their women, and hey, I do not try to stop them from trying. The knot was felt more and more by Jimmy and he took a step back. He leaned over the counter, holding his stomach, and he asked, How many? The Game Master's face had scales and a tail grew between his legs. He said, I don't know the exact number, but I know about more than half. Jimmy began to hear a large crowd behind him, but when he turned around, all he saw was Samantha holding the big blue bear and spinning around. The Game Master hissed and chuckled and said, <laughs> you like that girl? I suppose I should tell you that a large number of couples tear apart after they play the game. Jimmy was still leaned over the counter. He slammed his hand on it and insisted. What percentage? What percentage you been? But Jimmy looked at the game master and he could see that the game master's pupils were slits and his nose were replaced by slits too. The Game Master saw the serious look in Jimmy's face and got serious. He said, It's not a hundred percent, but damn near. When the Game Master spoke, Jimmy saw the fangs in his mouth and felt the venom replace the blood in his own body. The venom started at his heart as it pumped and pumped and pumped. It pumped the venom. It pumped the venom out. It touched every appendage and converged on his stomach. He heard the crowd wailing and calling, and then he finally realized the transformation of the Game Master. The scales, the fangs, the eyes. The Game Master leaned closer, and closer, and closer to him with a ball in his hand. Jimmy backed away from the counter. He couldn't play this game. He couldn't take that chance. He couldn't risk it. He backed away from the counter and pointed at Samantha and said, I love her. The Game Master sighed and said, Look, if you don't want to play the game, then go over a few boots down and just buy a bear. Jimmy hesitated and said, What? The knot in Jimmy's stomach dissipated. And the Game Master replied, Yep, the same exact pair, and you don't have to play the game. I don't need you to play, there are always mods to the flame. The ringing in Jimmy's ears has gone quiet, and he no longer saw the Game Master as some slimy snake. Jimmy took those words to heart, to replace the venom. He took those words, he took his girl, he went to the counter and bought a big blue bear. The moral of the story is, sometimes you can walk away from the game and still get the prize, so there's really no need to play. And why would you play? Because after all, the game is rigged.